This follows the water crisis at Luzira Prison when the National Water and Sewage Corporation cut off water from Luzira Prison due to accumulated water bills amounting to 18 billion shillings. Addressing journalists at Parliament, numbers say that the President should urgently prevail on the National Water and Sewage Corporation to provide water to the Luzira Prison since both are government entities. However, what I want to say is that we have heard about the presidential directives. This is where we want a presidential directive. That Mr. Museveni, you order that national water connects him. All prisons without any delay, immediately, within the next 24 hours, we want to see Ruzira back on the water grid. She argued that absence of water from Rosilla would spread diseases like dysentery to inmates. I've got this from reliable sources that as we talk now, there is an outbreak of dysentery in Rosilla and the number of inmates are already down. Numbers have proposed that the government should consider privatization of prisons to have people cater for prison services to avert crises like water and food shortages to inmates. She also asked the government through judiciary to reduce requirements for granting bail and introducing fines to replace sentences for some cases to suspects in prisons in a bit to reduce overcrowding in prisons.